We're in the midst of a global energy crisis, and the demand for clean and sustainable energy has never been higher. But what if there's a project aiming to change the entire game by capturing the power of the sun 22,000 miles away from the Earth's surface, igniting a revolution in sustainable energy? A project inspired by the science fiction writer Isaac Asimov, who once dreamed of harnessing the power of the sun from space, Caltech University is making this vision a reality with their Space Solar Power Project. Every hour, more solar energy reaches the Earth than humans use in a year. About 30% of this energy is reflected back into space by the atmosphere. But imagine being able to utilize the power of the sun 24-7 without being impacted by weather conditions or geographical limitations. That's exactly what this project aims to accomplish. By placing solar panels in orbit around the Earth, we can collect and convert the sun's energy into electricity, which can be transmitted back to Earth. The concept of space solar power dates back to the late 1940s, when science fiction writer Isaac Asimov first wrote about it. However, it wasn't until recent technological advancements that it became a feasible reality. And while many people have embraced the idea of this project, there have been some skeptics along the way. One of the most notable was Elon Musk, who famously joked about it in 2012. Space solar power, okay, the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> However, the tides have turned as Elon Musk's SpaceX rocket recently sent Caltech's solar power prototype into orbit. But before giving you much spoilers, we would like you to join our awesome community by smashing that like and subscribe button. Caltech University and its research team continue to push boundaries in space solar power projects despite initial skepticism. They conducted experiments and tests to demonstrate the feasibility of the project and are now working on scaling it up to make it economically viable and accessible to everyone. They've collaborated with none other than SpaceX to bring this dream one step closer by incorporating technologies that reduce mass and increase propulsion. They've achieved this by leveraging reusable rocket technology and a leaner operating model. Ultimately, they've reduced the cost to launch a kilogram to space from an average of $18,500 to $2,720 per kilogram, making space exploration more accessible and affordable. With its groundbreaking innovations, SpaceX has been able to disrupt the traditional aerospace industry by offering lower cost launch services and spacecraft development. The university has spent countless hours and approximately $1.5 billion on this project. On SpaceX's recent launch, Caltech launched its Space Solar Power Demonstrator, or SSPD, into orbit to harvest solar power in space and transmit it to Earth. According to Harry Atwater, a leader of the Caltech Space Solar Power Project and a professor at Caltech, the key to making this project a success was a change in the technology. Instead of having solar panels that weighed a kilogram per meter, they're now able to make panels that weigh only one to 200 grams per square meter. And they have a plan to actually make panels that weigh only 10 to 20 grams per square meter. For this, they've taken a bold leap forward with their innovative approach to solar arrays. No longer relying on heavy photovoltaic cells, they've embraced the use of feather-like gallium arsenide cells, ingeniously attached to compact tiles. These tiles, the building blocks of the Caltech design, can be as small as a mere dessert plate, measuring only 100 square centimeters. The brilliance of the Caltech design lies in each tile being its own mini solar station, boasting photovoltaics, minuscule electronic components, and a microwave transmitter. These tiles come together to form larger modules, each measuring 60 square meters, and an impressive array of thousands of these modules creates a hexagonal power station spanning up to three kilometers on each side. The beauty of the design is that the modules are not physically connected, eliminating the need for heavy support beams or cumbersome cables, ultimately reducing weight and mass. You can think of this as like a school of fish, says Atwater. It's a bunch of identical independent elements flying in formation. We've been considering quite a bit the potential benefits of space solar power, and somehow, the possibilities are endless. In an episode of the podcast, Faster Please, Ali Hajimiri, Bren Professor of Electrical Engineering and Medical Engineering at Caltech, gave multiple insights into this project. When questioned about this project's advantage over ground-based solar, Hajimiri states, The primary problem that it solves is essentially being able to get around the day and night the cycles of the weather and all those things that the cloudy day and all those things and having 
dispatchable power where you need, when you need, and as much as you need. And the other benefit of it is that essentially you can uh, have these systems in space for a long time and you can route it the way you want. You can actually distribute the power. You can break it up into smaller pieces. You can say, I want to set right now, send 20% to New York, 30% to LA, and you know, 40% to, I don't know, Seattle. With this technology, we're looking at a clean, renewable energy source that has the capacity to generate enormous quantities of energy with an environmental impact that is minimized relative to its gains. Just how much energy could this generate? Space-based solar panels, or SPS, have the theoretical potential to generate a constant 2,000 gigawatts of power a staggering 40 times more energy than what a solar panel on Earth can produce in a year. Theoretically, the power generated from SPS ranges from a few tens of megawatts to several hundred gigawatts. Just for comparison purposes, a modern standard nuclear power plant delivers about one gigawatt annually, and the energy need for Europe in 2020 was 500 gigawatts. If we can come close to the theoretical transmission efficiencies via electromagnetic waves of 50 to 60 percent, then we could produce around 400 watts of electricity per square meter on Earth receivers, which is about two to three times the amount we could receive from the same area of terrestrial PV panels. As such, this remarkable project offers a great source of energy that's free from the constraints of weather or location making sure energy production continues regardless of the circumstances. It's no wonder why some of the brightest minds in the industry are putting their resources behind space solar power. Hajimiri mentioned that the team behind this project has been working tirelessly for close to eight years to bring this innovative idea to life. As a result of our focus on wireless power and transfer technology, we've been dedicated to finding a solution for both terrestrial and space-based applications. The researchers stated that one of the biggest challenges was finding out how to convert the energy generated by the solar panels into a usable form and send it back to Earth. This required a tremendous amount of experimentation and innovation, and they eventually found a solution in the form of directional wireless power transfer. For that, on January 3rd of this year, they launched the Space Solar Power Demonstrator, or SSPD as mentioned earlier in the video, into orbit to demonstrate how these wireless beams will be captured on Earth. The Power Transmitter Array is a method of sending energy into space. It works by having multiple sources of energy all sending energy at the same time. When the energy from all sources is combined, it creates a high power beam that can be directed to specific places. Researchers at the university control the timing of each antenna in the array to control the direction of the energy. The way the antennas are positioned and the timing of their transmissions are important for the success of the beam forming. You can also check out the whole podcast mentioned in the description below. This innovative technology has the potential to revolutionize the way we think about energy and to create a greener, cleaner future for the entire world. With ongoing advancements in the space industry and further collaborations with institutions like Lawrence Livermore Laboratory and JAXA, Japan's space agency, this project continues to drive forward with confidence. Ali Hajimiri mentions a possible arrival date for the technology. I'm more on the optimistic side, I guess. I think probably by the end of the 2020s, you will have some demonstration, some power transfer demo. We're going to have to show it soon. We're going to have some technology demonstrations. But if you want to have a substantial amount of power transferred, probably before the end of this decade, it would probably not provide a whole lot of our power at that point. That takes another decade or two to get to that point, if this pathway turns out to be the right pathway to go down. Philanthropist Donald Bren also gave his insights on this project in a recent press release. He quoted, For many years, I've dreamed about how space-based solar power could solve some of humanity's most urgent challenges. Today, I'm thrilled to be supporting Caltech's brilliant scientists as they race to make that dream a reality. Keep in mind that Donald Bren is a lifetime member of the Caltech Board of Trustees and has invested almost $100 million in this project. Well, collectively, Caltech University's Space Solar Power Project isn't just a dream of science fiction anymore. It's a reality that is getting closer and closer each day. The scientists and researchers working on this project are determined to bring this idea to life, and we're hopeful this team will succeed. 
With its potential to be a clean, infinite, and sustainable source of energy for the entire planet, it serves as a game changer for energy production the world over. But the real question is, are you ready to be a part of it? At Future Planet, we believe the future is bright, and marvelous projects like these guide the light. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay up to date with all the latest advancements that are shaping our future.